Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all doing great. In this episode right here, we're going to be continuing on, on where we left off from the React Intermediate series. Um, so, you know, if you take a look at the last episode of the React Intermediate, uh, you'll see that we, you know, did a walkthrough of the authentication logic. So in this episode right here, we're going to be basically wiring up the start to at least wire up the authentication logic. And there's a few concepts I have to cover as well. Uh, regarding proxies and APIs and all that stuff. Uh, so we'll cover that in this episode right here. So this is going to be a free episode. Um, you know, you don't know what we're doing. Uh, you know, we are uh, basically an online school and we're going to basically build up our school from, you know, from starting from YouTube. And now we have our own website um, and we're going to add on to more features um, uh, to our website. So if you haven't checked out our website, check it out. Uh, it's a better viewing experience overall uh, than YouTube. So uh, check that out. So basically, we're going to be continuing off from this episode and uh, it's going to be a free episode. So if you're watching this, uh, check out our other episodes as well and become a member. Uh, and that really helps us out. So without any further ado, let's hop right in. Uh, so this is where we left off in the previous episode. Um, we have a sign in form, but it doesn't actually work yet. Um, so by the way, React Intermediate, we're actually doing a major refactoring. We're moving over from uh, the React Foundation code base to a new code base on React Intermediate. Um, so in this episode right here, we're going to be wiring up this sign in form and basically um, making it at least make the request to the right place. So let's take a look at the code over here. Um, I have this submit form uh, and basically, uh, you know, it, it, there's no callback function to handle this form submission. So uh, what we're going to do is if, if I go to the stores auth index, we're going to use this create session function over here uh, and basically use this function to, you know, create the session. Um, there's a few problems with this, uh, you know, just right out of the bat, because, you know, we did copy this code out from uh, another project. So a few things might have been different. Um, but let's go ahead and implement the submit form function anyway. So I'm going to start off. So submit form. Just like that. And we're going to do e dot prevent default like we always do. And basically, we're also going to, um, we need to have access to that auth, right? That auth module. So how are we going to do that? Well, you know, if you take a look at the main.js, we are passing in the new auth, uh, you know, in the main file over here, which means we have access to it using the MobX router. So the MobX React. So we can do that. Um, so import, um, inject observer from mobx react and then basically from here on out we can um we can yeah we can use a inject now so i'm gonna go inject auth observer like we always do which also means we can't use pure component anymore um and then we're gonna extract out so const auth this dot props just like that and now we can actually call the auth dot create session so we need to pass in the email so how are we going to get the email well the email is going to be handled by the form over here so we're going to do um this dot email dot value and this dot password dot value so the password is coming from the password field over here obviously so the last one is a callback i'm going to put that as null for now and that's going to be just fine um, but let's go ahead and, and try this out and make the request and see what error we get. So I'm going to go into inspect element over here and go into the network. And I'm going to try and actually submit one. So codemy.net, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to get a 404, obviously. Now, before we actually understand what's going on, uh, this is making a request to HTTP localhost um, 8080 v1 auth so uh, let's take a look at what's going on in terms of uh, our server so if we take a look at the server it's not even actually being hit right so the api should be you know going to our, our rail server but it's not so what's going on well the problem is um you know we we have a webpack dev server right and that's great but you know, if we are going to make endpoint requests, uh, request or API, it needs to go to our 
server. So we need to do something here in our configuration. So if you head over into development, um, so if you follow along, you have all these files in your config folder. And basically this setting over here, proxy. So what we really want to do is we want to set the V1 over here and point this guy over to 3000. So that's where our Rails app is uh, listening for. And uh, essentially what we can do now is we just need to restart our our, our, um, our Webpack dev server, uh, start it up again, just like that. And then basically now we should be good to go. Uh, we should be making the request to our server. So I'm going to give that a, another whirl. So I'm going to head over to Zach at Codemy dot net and one two three four five six seven eight uh hit submit we're still going to get a 404 however it's now hit our server and now basically you know it's not it has nothing to do with um with you know that that proxy not working or anything it's just that um you know our server is not made to handle this v1 off endpoint so what we really need to do is adapt the auth module to fit with our server so how are we going to do that? Let's hop right into the auth class over here. And basically all we have to do is change this part here. So how do I know? Well, if we head over to the Rails app config routes, we can see that the sessions being handled by the sessions controller over here, the resource sessions. Uh, so, so the sessions resource, if you will. And so what we need to do is we need to um, change this auth to sessions. And that's pretty much it. So um, right now, uh, the Signing won't be finished yet, so let's try this out. At least it should submit the correct request to the server, and the server should respond correctly. So I'm going to do Zach at codemy.net, and then uh, password is just one to eight. And let's take a look at the network part over here. Sessions 201 created. Perfect. So let's click on that and see the response. So yeah, definitely coming from our server. It's generating JWT just like we set up. Um, so everything is now working in terms of the sign in form. Um, you know, we're going to take a pause over here and in the next episode, we're going to be, um, doing a few things, uh, you know, with the callback. Uh, so over here, instead of just actually passing in the, um, the null, uh, over here, we're going to pass in a callback and we're going to have a success callback and an error callback. And I'm going to tell you guys how to basically handle errors. Uh, if we do run into them, like, for example, if the user put in the wrong password or in invalid email or whatever, I'm going to show you guys how to handle that with the callbacks in the next episode. So next episode is not going to be free. Um, so if you're not a member, sign up for uh, an account on our website. Uh, extremely, extremely cheap, just nine bucks a month. And uh, it has been helpful for a lot of people. We've been getting a lot of feedback from people uh, who appreciate our content. Uh, so take a look at the pricing page. Uh, you can click here to become a member, read the terms and conditions um, and sign up. And, you know, you're supporting our channel. You're supporting what we do. And uh, we have a lot more in stock that we're going to reveal later on. As you can see, you know, the studio looks a little bit different. Uh, and that's because, you know, again, like there's a lot going on. And uh, I will talk to you guys more about all this later in a different episode. With that, I want to wrap up this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.